hello guys welcome to my channel aura tricks and today we will be continuing this uh, application development uh, this series video let me log in into my workspace and in this video uh, we will be continuing with the uh, two reports uh, which is left in our last video uh, so let me show you that uh, where we are okay we have discussed this thing and I think two this this two reports uh, were not uh, included in last video so we are going to continue with it so now let us understand how to add these two reports and let me tell you why I have created these two videos because uh, two uh, reports the first thing first major reason is we have uh, two different users so I don't want to club them together so ultimately uh, because of that uh, I have to you know uh, select this uh, two different uh, things okay so this above uh, report is for uh, faculty and this one is for the students so let's see how to how the code is working so we are in the uh, code block so you need to add one uh, you know region so just click on this region so it will be added automatically okay and from here you can select an interactive report okay and now we are going to select uh, the data which we want to display so this is the query for that so I have selected the we have selected the ID then we have selected the title from uh, book detail where we combining with the book ID of uh, both the tables okay and that is to be considered as a book title and then we have selected the staff name or and this is the specifically for faculty so we are going to select only faculties uh, uh, to whom we have allocated some books and issued by and borrow date and to date from this and we have type is equals to faculty and book return status is equals to one so that's why uh, we have set this status so whenever the uh, any book is allocated to anyone whether it is student or faculty we are setting the status is equals to one okay and whenever uh, uh, that book is returns to the library then we are changing the status to zero okay uh, I, I hope it's clear to everyone now so let me show you the full code if it is not visible on the screen as I mentioned in the last video also that if somebody uh, need uh, don't uh, want to type everything up uh, uh, by just watching the screen uh, just text me or just uh, you know drop your email ID in the comment section uh, so that I'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, mail you this entire code so that you can uh, easily develop this application right so uh, we've selected the faculty just uh, click on OK and everything goes fine no need to do anything else so this is the query for staff and the same query for the student just the difference is instead of the faculty we are going to set here our students right so now let us understand that how uh, these two things are uh, shown up so I have uh, calculated uh, one column values and on the basis of that it shows me uh, the red marks on the students or faculty whose book is due okay so whenever a book is due whether for student or faculty he or she may be fined some values uh, some amount he or she needs to pay something right so you can define this it might be possible that uh, it's per day you are charging 10 rupees or 20 rupees or whatever it is right so how to do that uh, you need to calculate one new column okay it might be possible that you just uh, show that whether you want to show that column or not okay but uh, as far as it's uh, due is concerned okay how to calculate that so I have defined one new column over here uh, for new user you can do like compute okay if you do that this screen will appear then define a new column name which you wants to define then we, are go we, we, we have used trunk truncate then uh, the value F that is the borrowed to date so this book 
is been allocated to the students of faculty to till this date this date okay borrow to date and we are subtracting the sys date from it today's date so we will find the difference between this two okay in that column right so same way here we have done and in which we have also defined that if highlight okay if that column is uh, less than or equal to zero then we will display as a red marks right this one book due then we are setting the text color as red when whenever you have a due less than equal to zero so whenever you have a minus amount here it will be displayed as a late late uh, submission of a book right so same thing we have done in the faculty report also so it shows me that uh, this book is currently due okay so this part has been completed now so here from the librarian point of view uh, he or she can see that uh, which book is uh, you know pending or uh, is a due book so that uh, he or she may uh, notice or inform the concern now next thing is submit book okay here uh, uh, what i have done is i have defined only two fields currently uh, so first one is faculty if the you if you are specifying this uh, faculty then it will display all the faculties to whom you have allocated a book let's say for example uh, this one okay and if you submit it then this book will be returned okay and specifically it will be added into the book report let me click on the submit button okay the book submitted successfully so let's say for example uh, let us see what happens in the book report you can check that number of current copies are 98 13 100 94 50 so we see the difference only okay let's say for example there are 50 50 so we have not allocated any book here we also not allocated any book here also but we have allocated books like from here 98 13 and 94 okay if you submit the book okay then you may check this one okay now it's 98 and here it was 94 now it's 95 right so whenever a book is returned to the uh, library it will be added into this stock okay so let's see how it's working if you select the students then uh, all the students will be displayed uh, with the id itself so that the uh, concerned person can uh, go into this report and see that let's say for example somebody is coming and saying that uh, i want to uh, return this book then you may select see let's say for example this one okay uh, somebody is coming with uh, this name and uh, uh, with this book so that is programming in c so let's say for example currently uh, the programming in c have a total number of uh, current copies is 95 right and if we uh, go here we just need to uh, men uh, remember this one this score 183 submit the book uh, we are going to uh, faculty that is 183 and if we click on submit button it will be added into this report which shows currently the 95 okay let me submit it it, it is submitted and now if i refresh it i'll see 96 number of copies so whenever a book is returned uh, it will be added into these numbers and if you select the students so student, students list will be displayed and also uh, due for fine student and for faculty itself so let's check with the code how it's done so first of all you required uh, one uh, as we know that uh, section or region so we have created one region from here and i've named it as a book submission it will be static then i've created uh, one return form and that uh, would be a radio button in which i have uh, specifying two sp uh, static values there is a faculty it will return a faculty and if it's student then it will return a students right 
so now next is uh, issue id book issue id for faculty so whenever is somebody is selecting this so populated value populated here on the basis of a query so let's see how the data is coming it shows the id then some dashes are there and the name of the particular person okay so let's see i have selected the book issue id then i have added this dash then i am selecting the staff name from staff detail where staff id is equals to entity owner fk from borrower where borrower id is equals to this borrower id as display value and uh, book issue id as return value so what what does it mean that whenever you are displaying the things like here whenever you select this particular employee or let's say for example if you select some uh, student like joy then it will return this 130 id rather than a name right so we are going to use that also where this is equals to a book return from okay so your book return from is will also uh, return the book type borrower type whether it's faculty or okay student and book return status is equals to or we are checking that book is not currently written and borrower type is equals to faculty so this will be displays the faculty code faculty uh, list and this this one will display all the students who have been allocated one book and who have not returned that book okay so same code and but just the difference is instead of faculty we have been selected a students over here right so next is we have created the submit button but now as we know that uh, on the basis of uh, this faculty and student our book id issue uh, book id is uh, populated so if you select a uh, faculty then the faculty list is been displayed and uh, students is hidden so let me show you how to do that so we uh, hide and show faculty then first thing is that uh, just uh, right click on this and create a dynamic action this one okay as soon as you do this you just need to provide a name here uh, we will select a event this change whenever there is a change in that item which item this item so what will be the value item is equals to value then this item if this item has a value faculty then i want to show the issue id book issue id faculty then i want to show book issue id faculty okay this one and i have created an opposite action so just right click on here and create opposite action so this will be created automatically same way hide and show for student so we have done the same thing for the students also then we have added due for due uh, find faculty it means that uh, if the student or faculty have not submitted book on time then he or she may needs to pay something okay there is a fine so how to calculate that fine i have provided one simple calculation so let me show you that's a calculation just a minute okay so it's been allocated in the uh, this one processing so both of this uh, values will be populated after the calculation in the processing part so after creating this form just go to this processes click on this button it will be added this one name it as a submit book and let me show you the code now i have defined one uh, book id one borrower id third one is a fine and book issue id right so now i am checking that uh, let me just uh, add this one and show this one. okay fine just a minute let me unhide this one okay now if uh, this uh, book 11 what is it if this book 11 return from this one if that is faculty means k if the faculty is returning the book then we will do 
this much of processing and if that is student then we are going to do this much processing right so what is it we are selecting the book id into this bid so we are calculating we are uh, you know generating data for so that we can enter into the uh, enter into the return type this bid will get from book issue where book issue id is equals to this one faculty id as we have written the faculty id now we are selecting the borrower id into the bo id from lms book issue where book id is equals to same okay now we are calculating the fine so select 10 multiplied by two number and two date sys date so you converted mmddyy minus two date borrow to date mmddyy into fine from book issue id where this fine just a minute where book issue id is equals to this so whenever a book issue id is faculty for that faculty then we are calculating the amount and now that fine value is allocated to our due fine faculty this text field right and next we are inserting into book return status now we are updating the things update book detail and we are setting the current copies okay and we are adding into it right because whenever a book is returned by somebody that should be added into this total stock so we are adding like this and the last thing that we required is we are updating the book issue and we are setting the book status is equal to zero so whenever you return the book so your id will be removed from this list if the student is returning some book let's say for example 129 if you click on this submit then that name will not be appear over here because we have said that it should be return status should be one but here i am just setting the return status to zero absolutely same coding for uh, student as well we are selecting a book id then borrower id then we are calculating the fine we are assigning the fine to the students then we are inserting into the database the whatever whatever the value we have get uh, uh, by this calculations and then we are updating the number of copies uh, plus one and we are setting the return status to zero so these are the calculation which we need to do so it's been done now and we are able to uh, run our program so let's say for example uh, if i return every book then submit then submit then submit okay and if you're talking about faculty then and if we if we go here right book issue we won't see anything over here okay it will be updated automatically now let's say for example this 162 and uh, here if i select this 162 okay so it will display the fine after i calculate this submit button but before that let me show you this currently we have a fine uh, total fine is uh, 140 right and if i goes to submit book let me check again that the id is 162 adds a faculty and if i submit then the fine is 40 rupees see that And now let's go and check into the home page your fine should be increased now it's 180 right so this will be automatically increased okay so this is uh, the entire application and uh, we have just left with the first page this one and we are going to uh, cover in this uh, upcoming video and uh, that uh, might be our last video in this series so that uh, again i'm repeating that uh, if somebody required this code just uh, uh, drop your email id in the comment section and uh, i'll mail you the entire code which have uh, used in this application and also try to build certain applications so that you can help the others okay thank you so much for watch watching this video kindly sh uh, share and subscribe this uh, channel so that we can continue with the more videos thank you thank you so much